YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn unboxing. Today, we got another special treat for you guys. This is October's Cigar of the Month from me and James over at Black Line Luxuries. I'm telling you guys, we got another powerhouse box this month. I know September had the internet going crazy. We are not done yet. This month, we have a huge box. I'm telling you guys, we got two new cigars, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be the first club to have these cigars featured. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, Double R Army, we are here with October's Cigar of the Month Club from me and James over at Black Line Luxuries. Very excited about this. We have two all new cigars that we were very excited to get in your hands. And like I said in the introduction, I don't know for sure if we're gonna be the first Cigar of the Month Club that'll offer this, but I know we're gonna be one of the first to uh, offer these two cigars, so we are really, really excited about that. So without further ado, we will go ahead and open it up. As you guys know, traditionally, unless this is your first time watching the unboxing, the Black Line Luxury Cigar of the Month Club box comes in a traditional white box. Nothing fancy as my brother Carson over at Ashhead TV states the luxury is inside the box. So we will go ahead and open it up. Have our paper that'll display the four cigars. We have our four cigars here. And also, it's not in my box because I because I didn't need it, but there will be a Black Line Luxury Cigar Cutter for everybody else for October Cigar of the Month Club, so be looking out for that cutter. Now, traditionally, we normally do the white fuzz. We just implemented the gold shiny fuzz, which I think kind of gives it a nice touch to it as well, too. Might be able to get a little bit of B-roll here in a little bit and show you a little bit better look at it so you can get a up close and personal look. So we'll go ahead and shut the box and we'll go over the four cigars. So the first cigar is by Steve Saka and the people over at Dunbar and Tobacco and Trust. We're gonna be looking at the Sink Compromiso number five, excellent cigar. Probably my favorite size in the Sink Compromiso other than the number seven. Probably give the slight edge to the number five, probably because of the size just with the smoking time. But we're looking at a cigar that is six by 54 in length, has a Mexican San Andres wrapper, binders from Ecuador, and we have filler from Nicaragua. This cigar retails for $17.45 which this is kind of new because the old Sin Compromisos didn't have cellophane in it. Same thing with the Placentias. So spoiler alert, there is another Placentia in here from, uh, I know we had a Placentia in September, but we have another Placentia as well too. But they just implemented the cellophane. The old Sin Compromisos don't have it. So six by 54 in size, and it has notes of chocolate caramel, hickory wood, pepper, and dark roast coffee, medium to full body, medium to full in strength. I feel like all of these are gonna be in that medium, medium to full as far as body and strength. Nothing's really too strong, nothing's too light. They're all gonna be around the same. So, second cigar is the all new Placencia Almadel Campo Travisia Box Press. So this is a six and a half by 54 ring gauge. We'll get, a, we'll get some B-roll so you guys can see it. All new Vitola, the Almadel Campo, or the Amadeo Campo lineup is not new, but this size is very new. We were told that we were one of the first groups to have this, so we were really excited to smoke it. Actually, this has outbeat the Madruno, which is a six and a half by 58 Parejo cigar. That used to be my favorite size in the Amadeo Campo, but this has beat it out. It's a very, very impressive cigar. This retails for $17, so between both of these cigars, you have $34 worth of cigars in a club that costs you $37.95 shipped. Next will be, this cigar will be featured in the top 10 of my cigar, or top 10 cigars for me in 2020, without a shadow of a doubt. It's in there right now, it's gonna be very hard to move it out. This is the Crown Heads, Mil Diaz Edmundo, comes in five and three eighths by 52. I know this cigar, this is just a fantastic cigar. Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan uh, binder, and it has filler from Peru, uh, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica, almost got it, but very, very good cigar. This is, I've got to, got a chance to smoke all of the Ford Vitolas. John Huber over at Crown Heads sent me the cigars over a couple of months back. I did a live stream smoking one of them. Just a very, very good cigar. A lot of complexity, a lot of good flavor. Uh, this one retails for, for right at $9.99, so $10 cigar. Also has notes of spice, cedar, cream, cinnamon, and it has a very nice floral note on it too. This one, again, will be a medium to full body. Low side of medium to full on strength as well. Very, very good cigar. And then last, but certainly not least, one of my favorites. You saw this cigar featured in Cigar Madness, but just in a different size. But that's a testament to how much I love this cigar. This is the Laranja Escurio, uh, Escurio, sorry. 
and this is the Lancero. So what you'll see is the Corona Gorda, the Robusto, and the Toro are the sizes that are pretty common in, in places, but the Lancero is a money size. This is very good. Seven and a half by 38. Brazilian Matafina wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler. You guys know I love that Brazilian tobacco. Very good in this as well too. Very, very good. Retails for $10.49. Has flavor notes of black pepper, oak wood, hay, honey, espresso, popcorn, and leather. Medium to full in body and strength as well too. Excellent, excellent cigar. So you're looking at 34, 44, right at $55 worth of cigar. So again, you're gonna get your values worth. You guys see here, we got the small boba to pack in here to keep your cigars nice and humidified and travel. Excellent, excellent month. I'm very impressed with this. I think this was a great follow-up month for September. We had a lot of traction on the internet. A lot of people seem to really enjoy September's box. I'm knowing for sure that everybody's gonna enjoy this box as well too. This has been the October unboxing for Black Line Luxury Cigar, the month club. Thank you guys again. Of course, I'll always post a link in my description tab for you guys that aren't signed up if you wanna sign up for the club. As you guys know, me and James are curating the boxes every month. Working on some specific blends. We got some very cool stuff coming up in December. So looking forward to that again. Thank you guys for giving me the time. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. So you already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And don't forget to be driven, never motivated. Peace.